What is up everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. This is the Elite Rank Matches. Another Third Awakening video. I, I really like these videos. These these are kind of quick clips because these are ta these are tasks go by fast. Uh, this first one is by Basil from server 323. He's using the Red Huntress. He's got two of them. They got that 30, 30 uh, plus 30 leader skill. Basil's a top 100, 100 uh, player in the elite rank matches, over 100 million power. And they call it a bear pal. <laughs> Red Huntress has the preparation. She's got a lot of good attacks. I have the I have the blue and, and the blue's pretty strong, but he's got his third awakened, it's impressive. Uh, something I did not know was how good the little ghost is. The little ghost. It shares a couple of his abilities with, with blue. And uh, it does a soul drain. And the soul drain, basically what it does is it takes off one off the CD off its main main uh, ability, which is the blessing from beyond. He just keeps on bringing them back. It keeps on bringing them back. Keeps on bringing them back. Uh, I'm going to show you another another clip from, from uh, the little little red uh, ghost a little later. But while I was editing this video, I had got the got the clip from Basil. And what, literally while I was editing it, he decided that he had to attack me. Luckily, I only had 51,000 killed at that point. <laughs> but, but as I was looking at how many he had killed, he attacked me again. And I couldn't stop it. He was literally one tile away. So, kind of a different experience getting uh, screwed up in server war or something like that. Or having the person you were just talking to attack you while you're editing his name into the video you're making. Kind of a dick move, Basil. <laughs> Couldn't record that video yesterday because I had to get over that. Next one. <laughs> Next one is actually something that, that was for me. I did not expect to win this at all. I wanted to get the, the Red Fierce Beast because I haven't had it on the channel yet. I wanted to I wanted to record the Red Fierce Beast. <clears throat> the problem was he had the Blue Black Shaman and the Green Scarecrow both at the Third Awakening. So this is going to be a tough match for me. I have the Green Scarecrow. The green uh, catfish fighter, green catfish fighter has a couple of single target attacks that he had. That both of them he does. Uh, one he steals a buff from them. One he damages them uh, more as their hit points go down. And but his biggest ability is that he puts up a shield after every single round, and that's even regardless if he gets stunned. So if he gets stunned and his his head's spinning, he will still throw up a shield on someone in your team. So he's a it's a real he's a real big um, hero. I can't wait till he, we can start uh, awakening him. So as the battle continues, I started feeling pretty good about it. I have the Catfish Fighter, I have a Guitarist, I have Red Nomad in there. So I have someone that puts up a shield, I have a healer. Uh, he, he's got, he doesn't have a healer. He's got the Red Drum Beater uh, that's putting up a shield as well. But I, I felt like I had a little edge on this one. Uh, and then the Red Fierce Beast, he's got some big attacks. He's got the Chest Strike, that's a single target attack where... I think he uh, he does a debuff when he attacks him. Then he's got that overwhelming press when he jumps up in the air, uh, smashes the ground, and then he basically damages everyone uh, based on their max hit points. And then could steal their attack capabilities for a couple rounds. And then he has this uh, lunchtime shark attack where he'll steal life, kind of like the Ian War, pa war pattern, where he uh, damages the enemy and steals whatever he damages up to like 30% of their max hit points. So pretty big combination but um, I have the Ian War pattern on the Red Nomad not awake not not at the third level the second level awakened and uh, manages to come away with that one I, I surprised myself on that one so I wanted to do things a little differently this is how to get your red guitarist to the third awakening first step is very important spin as many golden turtles as you can trying to get the the Nomad or the God of Earth and step two you'll be getting the red guitarist probably the green guitarist several times first don't ever try to go for the red guitarist because then you'll end up getting a three star you always go for the five stars <laughs> as soon as you get the red guitarist start working on her get up to five stars as soon as possible and don't hesitate on on the awakenings on the first and second awakening get them done as soon as you can too uh, step four go to the altar Oh yeah, I just said that. Get the first and second awakenings. Try to get them before she's maxed out at 35. Then get her to six stars 
as soon as you can. And remember, you have to start collecting whatever she needs for it. And she needs the, the materials. To, it's it's not a small list to get her to get her to, to uh, the third level awakening. First is you need the keepsakes. And keep in mind, this is something that I was taught by Royal, someone in the uh, in a uh, Phoenix and three two three, that Thera is. You'll always use the Thera keeps keepsakes for the reds, Ian for blue, Saya for green. So they go by the colors. Starting to lose my voice. Like every video, she's gonna need four. Four stars as materials to get her to the third awakening. So, I believe I, now I've heard different things, but I believe they have to be level zero. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I'm still still checking on that. You also need four three stars. So we're up to eight partners so far. Four 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 stars, four three stars, and then two green double blade girls. So that's a pretty hefty cost. On top of that, you need 300 of those stone coins. And a, a little bit of luck. <laughs> and for the record, I have confirmed that the partners must be their original star level, but any level within that star level. So that's been confirmed. <laughs> one of my favorite, one of my favorite partners. It took me a while to get used to her, but um, I, I use her a lot now. Now here's a here's someone new on the channel, from server 414. At the time, he was the war chief. It's Daddy Ric Flair from the Clown Squad. Don't I don't know him very well, but he seems cool. He's using the Desert Prince, the Green Desert Prince. I've got the same. I've got the Green Desert Prince. Mine is mine is not nearly as good as his. If you don't know what kind of attacks the Prince does, it's right there at the bottom of the screen in the middle there. Uh, he's he's using a kind of unconventional uh, lineup. He doesn't have a healer, doesn't have any tanks. Instead, he has a shield and, and then the speedster with the with the green dragon man. And then he's got two strong attackers. Uh, typically, the uh, the desert prince will have Saya on him because he does all these multiple attacks. He just got taken out early. Uh, does all these multiple attacks, so he's really good with the stun and, and Saya. And then he's also got um, the scarecrow. Also, at the third awakening, that uses the reaper cometh, which is a huge attack. You want to try to get six wolf, I think, I believe, on on Scarecrow to get that uh, the critical rate up as high as you can. Now, Daddy Ric Flair was facing a stack team, which included another uh, red little ghost, and I didn't realize this, but all three, all th the top three players of last rank matches had little ghost in the lineup, red little ghost, and he uses a revive, uh, a revive ability, and one of his other abilities actually improves the revivability it, it constantly cuts down on the CD rate which is how long you have to wait for it so it, it just ended up tipping the scales uh, away from uh, daddy Rick's favor he ends up losing this one so <laughs> little red ghost impressive so last replay grudge match between old clan mates Kaiser and team off it both in my clan on 323 at one point should be a good match. Kind of hid who won. I'm gonna act like I don't know. <laughs> they both have really good teams. They both do really well in the ranked matches. They're both using the green demon killer, which you don't have to have luck to get. You can get them out of the old ball smithy, and it's a level 11 old ball smithy. So it's a big advantage. You, don't, you can just plan for it instead of having luck. And then most people will use it as a leader up until you start getting six stars and, and converting others to six star. Uh, it, it has a couple of. Uh, one versus one attacks but it also has the earthquake slash which is where he smashes the ground and he does a big buff where he has an attack defense speed and 10 10 percent hit point buff they had they had both chose team leaders that had speed um both the the green saya the green god of earth and the the blue shaman uh, they, they both have speed for a leader skill but the big difference was that Kaiser went with the Green Dragon Man, and he kept on kept going with speed. Where Team All went, he went with uh, the the Green Colonel. Boy, I get tongue tied. <laughs> he went with the Green Colonel and went with the Healer instead of speed. So he just so Kaiser just ends up edging him right right at the end. Fortunately, this is part one. I've already got part two. I was lucky enough that they were lucky they were lucky enough to face each other several times so I've got part two 
and we will see what happens next time this time Kaiser gets the win so that's about the end of it I hope you guys enjoyed the show today it took me forever to get this done I think I'm getting a little too involved and uh, I need to just make a replay and talk because easy is not the greatest editor <laughs> speaking of editing we have a new series called short films it's coming out soon it's going to be every single partner in the game we're going over war patterns for each one I have a lot of questions about war patterns I want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel uh, leave a comment down below I try to I try to respond to every single one if I can and make sure you watch the end of everything because we have uh, a duet at the end that has been that they've had a long engagement so thanks everyone for watching till next time it's been easy take care everybody